Hey everybody, Paul Hefner here. I'm at my studio and I wanted to share some of the things I've been doing to help out with this whole transition process to online lessons. So uh, I'm gonna switch the camera around and show you basically what I have set up and hopefully it helps you. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know because uh, I'm always open for some suggestions. So, all right, here we go. My printer, um, basically what I'm doing is having the students uh, email me their music for the lesson. If I don't already have it, then uh, what I do is I print it out so I can kind of go through it with them. So I don't have to do the screen share on the computer. All right, and moving right along, actually this is where we used to do lessons uh, when they were coming in person. And now uh, here is the, uh, basically the other area. Uh, got, you can tell there's my tuba. Got instruments on the back wall. Keyboard, of course, is center. And then I have, here's my trombone. And on the back here, I've got, um, this is like a privacy screen, but it works pretty well as a sound soundboard too, to kind of help uh, a deflector shield to help to absorb some of the sound because right down there is my microphone. Now the microphone, that's just a, um, it's just a sound shield, but there's the microphone itself. That's a pop screen, I think. What they call it, a pop screen. All right, there's my headphones. Just, uh, and basically here is my computer. I've got GarageBand open right now. I am doing a lot of recording to, uh, for my students. Basically I'm recording myself playing like a duet, first part, and then I'll send a separate recording of me playing second part so they have something to, uh, to play along with. I always found that duets and lessons are great sight reading tools. So uh, as long as I have time, I've been sending one per week per student. Um, you know, and if they're about the same skill level, uh, I'll try to send them the same, uh, two different people the same, same recording so that saves me time. All right, here is my audio interface. It's just a basic um, Scarlett 2i2 or Focusrite. And came with this, came with the headphones, and came with the microphone, all, all came in one package. And uh, so this goes, to my, this goes to my microphone. This goes to my cell phone. So basically I have my metronome set up and they can hear my metronome just fine. I can set it to like a rock groove or swing or bossa nova. So that's pretty cool. Also, I have in here um, iReal Pro. So if, if a student is doing something, some kind of jazz piece, or they're working on improvising, that's what they're gonna have. They'll use that. Also, I have a, the amazing slow downer, which is awesome. So uh, all these basic uh, play along tracks I have for students. So I can record that for them or play it and let them play back for me uh, the only problem if they're playing if I'm playing it for them and they're playing it back to me on the other end then there's gonna be a delay so it sounds weird on my end but hopefully they're hearing it okay uh, best bet is to pre-record it myself playing and send it to them so they can play along with it and then send me like a video back or something like that that helps out uh, what else this is it's about all I can think of for now so, I don't know, hopefully that helps. A um, couple things. To, um, use the highest internet speed you can. Uh, I'm using a cell phone right now with the hotspot because my studio unfortunately has no, no internet. So, but the, you know, for the location, it happens to be working really well. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, but use the highest speed you can. Uh, and you don't have to have all this uh, stuff hooked up. You don't have to have your own microphone, audio interface. You don't have to have all that. Uh, I just like to use the, um, the audio interface and the microphone because I want to give the students the best possible example of a sound that I can. That's all. Um, I can't think of anything else, but again, if you, if you can, leave comments or suggestions and uh, let's just keep it going, man. Just uh, I love that we're keeping music going during this crazy time. It gives the kids and adult students something to, uh, just something to lean on during these difficult times. So, all right, all the best. God bless. Stay well. See you next time.